It's your boy ASJ, and I'm so sorry for the wait. But by the title of the video, you already know what we reacted to today. Now, I've been on vacay in AZ, Arizona. I've been in Phoenix, and I had I had a really, 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 really good time. I had the time of my life out there, man. Just had some fun. You know, um, if you guys don't know, man, I'm actually planning on, you know, living out there. So, uh, but coming from just like the city of St. Louis, you know, the only thing you really see is a bunch of trees. That's about it. You may see a couple like, when you were like south, more like, well, I say when you were more south of St. Louis, you may see like, you know, little rocks or whatever, like on the side of the highway. You know, I think they're like limestones or whatever. But you don't see like mountains, you know what I'm saying? But I did come across a one interesting thing. I had to take a picture of it because my my imagination is crazy, right? So this cactus, I took a picture of when I was in Arizona. Looked like it wanted to score out with me. Look at that. Like he's literally like put him up, put him up, put him up. But you know, I, I really didn't enjoy myself, man. It's a bunch of cool people out there in Arizona, and uh, it wasn't too hot, so. Um, but I know I am behind on the loop stations of the SBX 2021. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm a catch up. I know that it's Kristoff versus Robin, I believe. So without further ado, man, let's get into it. Welcome to the second semifinal of the SBX Kickback Battle 2021 Loop Station Edition with the exclusive prototype of the Boss RC505 Mark II. Today we have Josh O versus Kristoff. First up is Josh O with three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. I, love I that save intro the three and I save the two and the one in three, two, one. Beatbox. Let's get it. La, la, la. It's another, 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 it's another,
Dude, I, I really did enjoy this one. This is like feel good music. It's like, it, bro, it actually fits to like going on vacation. It feels like you're going somewhere like tropical. You know, I I would like to point out one one thing here. I think it was like what two fifty. I just love the gate. I just love the gate on that on that bass. Like you can hear. And I love his uses, his use of like high filters and low filters. And there was a filter that he had brought in. What was it like? I think it was like one fifty, maybe. <laughs> something called like a fruity love filter right and it kind of sound like maybe i pass it up just a little bit i'm gonna go i like how he's crossfading the vocals and this it's another It up. I, I'm gonna I'm search for it one more time. It may have been like around like, I don't know, but it was like, maybe it was like right around like here. Okay, yeah, right here. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So it's, in FL Studio, I know when I'm making like the beats and stuff like that, and like I've used Fruit Love Filter in the past, and I've actually recently used it on one of my beats on my beat tape. But I just love this. It's like, wham, 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 like it. Yeah. I think a lot of people use that for like guitars and like the sense of like guitar instruments. Is, it got kind of that that wah wah type of sound, like how a guitar was like wah wah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do. I really like this one, man. This this is really feel good, and I love the the like ambience of it. And I, I love it, bro. I love that one. And that's time. Round two, Kristoff, switch. Yep, it's another day, and musically, <clears throat> we still haven't heard anything new from you. Let me show you how it's done with some fresh, funky chords, all right? Oh, okay. and although you told me to stop, I'll always keep doing it, keep doing it. Let's go. Just move your body. Move it. Don't think, just move your body. 
That's it? Only one dubstep sound this time? Well, it's good to see you're making a change. Two can play that game. Shots fired, bro!
by our target on the loose. Kristoff is trespassing to the semifinals. You cannot let him advance any further. This is a red alert. I repeat, this is a red alert. Going on. We're moving out. <laughs> Inside of this loop station, right inside inside of this loop station, it it it, fit, it it was fitting the theme of like this whole entire like like wanted feeling, like some type of search on foot or like some type of like evacuation almost or like you know or, or just like some type of like drill, right? And I love it how like he took the sound of his like siren, like who did. And he chopped and he basically manipulated that. <laughs> like he manipulated that that siren. He's manipulating a siren, bro. Like that's freaking tough. Instead of just making like, Woo! and I like how it's not that traditional like police siren. It's it has some type of like, it, bro. It, it has some beef behind it. Yeah, we're going on. Like if you can hear the tone, like the actual, like the actual key of that siren, and like and compared to because you can hear it, bro. This, this. target has been captured. I love, I love how he was talking through the, like using the, like the voice comms and stuff like that, like the walkie-talkie. I, I mean, his voice right there really was like fit the, 
it, it really fit that whole entire thing too. That that was hard. I just wish he would have finished it off the, the last thirty seconds. But no, it's cool. I like. It. I wanted to hear more. Round four. Kristoff. Switch. Yo, got it, bro. And he had to delay behind it and reverbs. I think I lost him. Yeah, I definitely lost him. You know how? I'm a shapeshifter. In the past months, I've been dubstep. I've been Jazzy Trap, I've been Mid Tempo, I've been House, and now I'm becoming drum and bass, so they're never gonna find me, and I'm gonna get to those wow. panels, right? Wow. <sighs> he talk about, bro, like I got multiple different types of styles, bro. I'm different types of architect, archetypes, bro. You know, I got different types of badges. I'm a 99 overall, all Hall of Fame badges, bro. Like, I'm a shapeshifter, bro. Like, off of Team Wolf, call me. What's her name? What's her name? What's her name from the, um, uh, not the Incredibles. Uh, X-Men, what's her name? The Blue Girl. You know what I'm saying? Fiona? No, that's not her name. <laughs> Mystique. Mystique. try to dissect this whole entire thing, I will go on for like 10 minutes, okay? 
But there are so many elements. I mean, there's just there's just so many elements throughout this. I, I mean, I enjoyed the whole entire thing. One, I love I love the I love the vocals. I mean, I I just love the vocals, man. I mean, it's something that's very very catchy and something that's like when it when it actually when when the when the vocals actually are present, it. It brings this energy, it brings this presence to me of like, ah, uh, like, yes, you know what I'm saying? That, that's just how it makes me feel. And then like, just the, just the, all the different sounds of like the, like the different types of like hard tough steps. And then like, one thing I have to say with Kristoff, bro, his sounds are very, very, very colorful and rich and warm. Like, I, bro, like when I'm. When I look, when I'm when I'm listening to this, bro, I, I see like, bro, I, I do see colors. My eyes was closed. I know my eyes was closed for like at least a good eighty percent of it, right? But I felt that, bro. I, like I really felt it. Like this is something I would actually like ride around in my car and play. Like you know, this is just like I, I did. I really did enjoy this. This was so nice, bro. I just want to hear that last little bit of that Superman part. And that, that look that that arpeggiator in the background he included in the begin in the like it was like towards the end of the beginning added a different type of added a different type of texture to it but you can but now you can hear it but it's not like unless you really listening for it i mean it's dead smacking in my ear right but unless i'm like actually looking for it he did a it's just that's amazing when the sound is in your ear like it's dead smacking your ear right you ever like bro i'm getting excited like okay so say you in a quiet room well say okay say you in a library Okay, and it's quiet, but the ambient sounds going on in the background, or like, like say the air conditioning, right? Air conditioning is like, it's not loud, but it is there. Like it's probably like thirty decibels, maybe 20, thirty or forty decibels, right? But when it, but when the air kicks off, you finally realize like, oh, it was actually kind of loud in here. You know what I'm saying? But that's exactly how he disguised this sound. It's dead smacking your ear. Like right here. You hear that? That arpeggio in the background. Why can I be like Superman flying through the sky? Superman flying through the sky Why? Why? Tell me why And I love how he changed up the harmony at the end Versus the beginning of that part with the Superman Dude That was just phenomenal bro Like like That's a masterpiece I give that one a, a, a million out of ten Hands down. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know who did you enjoy. I enjoyed both of them, but they just had different elements, right? They were all, they, both Josh O and Kristoff were damn good, right? They just they just brought two different types of elements and textures, you know what I'm saying? I say Josh O brings me more of that good, that good, like, feeling music. You know, like, it's, it's good for me to, like, it, it lifts up my spirit. You know, Kristoff, like, you know, he, he triggers a different part of me that's, like, super hyper energetic. You know what I'm saying? And electrifying. But, hey, just like they say, you got to pick your poison. But uh, let me know what y'all think. And I'm back, baby. Let's get it.
I gotta find my mouse. Yeah!